Okay, we're looking at um, circles still, but now we're looking at the actual equation of a circle. Um, what I mean is, if you go back to algebra one, like here's a line, right? Yes? Okay, and then in algebra one you learned the equation of a line can be written y equals mx plus b. And m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. I would, I would gather that equations of circles are easier than equations of lines. I, I don't know why, because there's more stuff, but I, would, I find them easier. Um, here is the formula for the equation of a circle. You do not have to memorize it. Um, I will give it to you when we take the test. It looks very complicated, but it's really not. It's going to be inside a set of parentheses, x minus h squared plus inside another set of parentheses y minus k squared equals r squared. <coughs> so it looks complicated but now I'm going to explain what all the pieces are and then you're going to see us practice it and you're going to be like oh this is, this is actually really easy. Let's explain what the pieces are. I think that's trying to say parentheses. Oh, that's an open parentheses and that's a closed parentheses here. I'm just going to ignore it. But the coordinate points H, K, so that's like an X and a Y, H, K is the center and R is the radius. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, HK is the center of the circle. And R is the radius. Well, that makes sense. So the only new part is the HK. <coughs> I'm going to show you something. Do you notice in front of H there's a minus? Do you notice in front of K there's a minus? 
Okay. Um, that is a tricky spot. I'm going to put an asterisk above it. The asterisk is to remind you, I'm going to come right here and say, the asterisk means sign change. There's always a sign change on H and K, and that's because they have that minus sign in front of them. Now, for right now, you might be thinking, what does that mean? Let's go to an example and you'll see what it means. We're going to start simple where we are given the center and the radius and we have to write the equation. Which means they're telling you H, K, and R and you're plugging it in. Okay? The only thing you have to remember is on H and K there's a sign change. So here we go. We're going to write this format. You only plug numbers in for H, K, and R when you're writing the actual equation. Janae, stay with me. Alright, so parentheses, X, what's H in, in here? 5, but because of the asterisk here, I'm actually going to write negative 5. You see that? Squared plus Y, what's K? 3. But because of the asterisk, I'm actually going to write negative 3 squared equals, and then it's r squared. r is, stay with me, Janae. Wake up. Get, get that energy you had earlier. Boring. Oh. <laughs> um, what's r? r is 2, and if you square that, it's is 4. So that's the equation. I'm also going to use a highlighter to kind of help you just see what I meant by like right here H and K are they, they have sign change. Both of them. That's the only tricky spot. Uh, you try number 2. You're, write, you're writing the equation. Right. It'd be like if I said, hey, here's a line with a slope 3 and a y-intercept 2. Write the equation. Yeah. You should be done with number two. If you're not done, then that means you're not quite understanding it yet, which is okay. It's only the second problem. So let me help you. We're going to write the equation of the circle. We know the center. We know the radius. That's all we need. So here we go. The formula is parentheses x. H is negative one, so I'm actually going to write plus one squared y K is 7, so I'm going to write minus 7 squared equals R is 14. R squared would be, wait a minute, no, it's okay. Maybe you look for the, the 7, because I don't look for the 7. Depends on which direction you're going. 
But remember I said that the length of the word corresponds to the longer or shorter segment. Like diameter is the bigger word. So it's the bigger segment. Radius is the smaller word. So it's half the diameter. So if the diameter is 18, then what's the radius? Nine. So notice I marked through that because I don't want to look at the diameter. I want to know the radius. I have to know the radius. All right, so you write the equation. So did you get parentheses x plus 2 squared plus y plus 11 squared equals 81? Did you get that? Yes? Okay. Number 4. There's no, there's no trick here, but H is what number? H is zero. So when you go to write X minus zero, what is X minus zero? X minus, oh, that was supposed to be an X. X minus zero squared. What is X minus zero, y'all? Wait a minute, wait a minute. If I have x and I subtract nothing, then I still have x, right? So x minus 0 is actually just x, correct? In the parentheses, squared. So that's actually just x squared. Do you see that? When, when the value is 0, the parentheses disappear and it's just x squared. And that's because the, the h was zero. And again, they give us the diameter. We don't want the diameter, we want the radius. So what would the radius be? 16. So it's going to be x squared plus, a, um, k is 9, so it would be y minus 9 squared equals, and then r is 16, 16 squared is 256. So look at the equation right here. Notice the difference, the parentheses are gone, and that's because the value that was after x is a 0. All right, the next one, what's zero this time? The number after y is going to be zero. So if you need to, you can come over here and say to yourself, okay, so that's going to be y minus zero squared. 
y minus zero is just y, and it's in the parentheses squared, so that's y squared. What else is different here? The radius is actually a radical. So watch what happens. Come back up here to the formula. The formula is we square r, right? If I square this, if this is the radius, if I square it, what happens, y'all? Yes. Square a square root and they cancel. That's like adding to and subtracting to. They're inverse operations. So they actually cancel. And it ends up being nice and pretty. So let's write it out. We've got x, h is negative 4, so it would be plus 4 squared plus, we already addressed the fact that k is 0, so this is y squared. And we just addressed the fact that if you square the square root of 47, you end up with just 47. Okay, everyone try six. Is it like the same as the last problem? Yes. you get parentheses x minus 15 squared plus parentheses y plus 6 squared equals, now if I come over here and I square it, it's another one of those where it cancels, so it equals 158. Yeah, that. Looks really complicated, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not. Um, you just need to watch if it's a diameter. Don't accidentally square the diameter. You need to cut that in half, then square it. Um, if it's a radical, you just need to remember that if you square a radical, they cancel. Um, so it ends up being nice. Now let's practice. If I give you the graph, can you write the equation? Well, what two things do you need to write the equation of a circle? What two things do you need to know? Yep, you need to know the center, which is H and K, and you need to know the radius. So everybody look at the grid. Find the coordinates of the center. Remember you are um, going to pull the X coordinate first and then the Y coordinate. So you go right. It's kind of hard to see. What is y'all see? Mine turned, kind of turns it. Oh, yours turned it way bigger than mine. So it's right three. Yeah. Yeah. Right three down what? Down two. Now, this is going to feel silly because it's so simple, but how do I get the radius from the picture? You just count. You just count. Let's be smart about it, though. Let's, let's not try to count. I'm going to change to red. Let's don't try to count the radius from the center in that direction. Let's, let's don't count that. That's a diagonal, and I can't count it, right? Let's count our radius either 
right or left, or up or down, because then it's going to go right along the grid. I personally, I just always go out to the right. Um, I think it's because of the pre-cal in me. When you start pre-cal, you'll learn why. But So we're counting the units of the radius to get five. So the R is five. So now we're going to write the equation of the circle. You'll write it right here. Write the equation of the circle. of that circle. So scrolling back down, we're going backwards. They're giving us the equation. We're going to pull H, K, and R. Don't forget there is sign changes on H and K. So be careful there. I'm going to use my highlighter so that you can. it'll help you to pinpoint exactly what to pull. There's H. There's K. There's R squared. R, but R squared. All right, so you're changing the sign. I see negative five, so the center is actually positive five. I see negative one, so it's actually 
with the positive 1. Okay, if r squared is 64, square rooted, and you get 8. You do have to do a little math there. The square root both to get um, just r. Alright, let's do 17. Well, H, K, and I'm not familiar with 324, so you have to go to your calculator and square root it and see if it's pretty or ugly. It's pretty? Okay. Did they ask for the radius? No. Oh, it's slightly tricky there. They actually asked for the diameter, so if you wrote R is 18, you would just need to say to actually double that, and you get 36. Did you get that as your center? Negative 7, 2. Alright, let's do 18 and What's the center? There's no parentheses, which means there's no number there. So it's the number what instead? Zero. Zero. Don't let that throw you off. When there's no parentheses, it should actually be easier. Um, and then negative 10. We've got r squared is 42.25. We're going to square root that. That is ugly. What do you get? Oh, okay, and it wants the diameter. So you get like 6.5, and then it says the diameter, so you double that and you get 13. All right, 19. looks ugly but it's actually easier and it's because we just leave it as the square root of 58. So the center would be 6, negative 11. R squared is 58. So if I square root that, square root of 58 is not pretty at all. So we can just leave it as the square root of 58. Okay, which looks weird but we can leave it as that. All right, let's do one more level of difficulty. We've stayed low key this whole time. Let's do one level of difficulty and then we'll go to the practice. Um, I don't necessarily want to do all of the questions on this paper because um, just given the time constraint, I'd rather just focus on knowing the, the foundational stuff instead of knowing the fancy stuff. All right, so this is like leveling up one degree of difficulty, and it's really not that difficult. So basically, you just go with what they give you. They're giving you this time, instead of the center and the radius, which is straightforward, now they're giving you the center and a point on the circle. So they're, you're given HK, that's the center, 
and a point on the circle is x, y. You've got to find r. They're giving you h, k, and they're giving you x, y. You have to plug those in to get r, and then you can write the equation. Alright, so your equation at the top, I can't, I can't put the formula on the same, like I have to scroll. There's your equation, right? So look up there at that. You can probably see what's about to happen. You're going to plug in x, y, you're going to plug in h, k. So you're going to have all numbers on the left. You're going to type every single bit of it in your calculator, and that would give you r squared. Okay? So here we go. Let's label. This is h, this is k, this is x, this is y. Plug it in. Don't forget your sign changes on the h and the k, so be careful there. I'm going to put an asterisk above it. Sign change, sign change. Here we go. Parentheses x, sign change on h, plus parentheses y, sign change on k, equals r squared. Now type every single bit of that. Um, in your calculator. The stuff on the left. So parentheses 7 minus 9, close parentheses squared, plus parentheses 4 minus 10, close parentheses squared. Then hit enter. What'd you get? 40. 40. So r squared is 40. Guess what? Some people here, they start to square root 40. Don't do that. Here's why. In the equation, it should be r squared. You just found r squared. So now all you have to do is basically rewrite this equation, but this time you're going to put the letter x and y in the, in the equation. They have to have an x and a y. So now we're going to write our answer. x minus 9 squared plus y minus 10 squared equals 40. So while it's leveling up, I feel like it's actually, it's actually not. But it, it is technically because you're, you're given different information. Try the next one. is negative 7 h squared plus y k squared equals r squared Homework is number 10 and 11 on the back.